हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बेनाक कॉन्ट्रैक्शन प्रिंसिपल सो हियर इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ आवर थ्योरम लेट एक्स कॉमा डी इज अ कंप्लीट मेट्रिक स्पेस अज्यूम देर इज अ मैपिंग टी फ्रॉम एक्स टू एक्स सच दैट फॉर ऑल एक्स वाई बिलोंग्स टू एक्स डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टी ऑफ एक्स कॉमा टी ऑफ वाई इज ऑलवेज लेस देन इक्वल्स टू क्यू टाइम्स डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स कॉमा वाई For a fixed q belongs to zero to one, so zero to one is here open interval. Then T has a unique fixed point, that is, there exists a unique x star belongs to X such that T of x star is equal to x star. So proof of our theorem is, so here given is x comma D is a complete metric space. So what we mean by complete metric space is If you take any Cauchy sequence in X, it is always converges to some point in X. So now take one arbitrary point x not in X and define a sequence x n as follow: x n is equal to t of x n minus one. So x not is mapped to x one, x one is mapped to x two, x two is mapped to x three, and so on. Now note that t of x n is equal to x n plus one. And t of x n minus one is equal to x n. So now distance between x n plus one comma x n is always less than equals q times distance between x n comma x n minus one, which follows from our statement of our theorem. Now apply same relation to the distance between x n comma x n minus one. So applying this inductively, you can get distance between x n plus one comma x n. Is always less than equals q power n distance between x one comma x not. Now let us take m n belongs to n such that m is greater than n. So by applying curry leaf tricks, you can get distance between x m comma x n is always less than equals distance between x m comma x n minus one plus distance between x m minus one comma x n. Because m is greater than to n and both of them are integers. so after finitely many times subtracting one from m you can get n we are doing this because we know the relation distance between xn plus 1 comma xn so we are just writing distance between xm comma xn in some summation of the form distance between xn plus 1 comma xn so finally we get distance between xm comma xn is always less than equals distance between xm comma xn minus 1 plus distance between xm minus 1 comma xm minus 2 plus so on distance between xn plus 1 comma xn so now just apply the equation one relation to this and we get distance between xm comma xn is always less than equals q power m minus 1 distance between xn comma x not Plus q power m minus two distance between x one comma x naught plus up to so on q power n distance between x one comma x naught. Now take q power n times distance between x one comma x naught common from above equation, and we get q power n times distance between x one comma x naught times summation over. k equals to zero up to m minus n minus one q power k. Now look at the summation k equals to zero up to m minus m minus one q power k. It is geometric progression, so we can take its infinite sum. Then we get a relation distance between x m comma x n is always less than equals to q power n times distance between x one comma x not. Times summation of k equals to zero up to infinity q power k, which is equals to q power n times distance between x one comma x naught times one upon one minus q. By just applying the formula for the sum of geometric progression, now q is belongs to open interval zero to one, so it is always less than to one. And if you take q power n for large enough n. You can always get a relation. Q power n is strictly less than to 
epsilon times 1 minus q divided by distance between x1 comma x0 because if q is less than to 1 and you take q power n for large enough n it is almost close to 0 and here epsilon is arbitrary positive number and 1 minus q is always less than to 1 and uh, distance between x1 comma x0 is always greater than to 0 so we can find this relation always and now if you take some integer mn which is greater than to n then we found a below relation distance between xn comma xn is always less than equal q power n times distance between x1 comma x0 times 1 upon 1 minus q which is always less than 2 epsilon times 1 minus q divided by distance between x1 comma x0 times distance between x1 comma x0 times 1 upon 1 minus q which is exactly equals to epsilon this implies distance between xm comma xn is less than to epsilon for all mn greater than to n this imply our sequence xn is cauchy hence it is convergent and hence its limit exists which is limit n tends to infinity xn is equals to x star belongs to x because t is continuous and t of xn minus 1 is equals to xn hence we can take limit inside t which is limit n tends to infinity t of x n minus 1 is equals to t of limit n tends to infinity x n minus 1 is equals to t of x star which is equals to x star so we proved that x star is a fixed point so now we are just left with the uniqueness of x star let's suppose there exists two element a comma b such that t of a is equals to a and t of b is equals to b uh, it means a and b are fixed point of t so now distance between t of a comma t of b is equals to distance between a comma b but distance between a comma b is always greater than to q times distance between a comma b which contradict the fact that distance between t of a comma t of b is always less than equal to q times distance between a comma b uh, because q is belongs to 0 to 1 open interval so it cannot be possible that t has two fixed point so we are done with our proof thank you